welcome back to October Horror Fest! Moving right along with our zombie theme, I'll be taking a look at the original Dawn of the Dead from 1978. In this one, the world is ravaged by an unknown phenomenon that reanimates dead bodies. As the military and government fail to contain or stop the incident, social order collapses, causing chaos everywhere. In the midst of this, two SWAT officers, Roger and Peter, are raiding a local project where the tenants are harboring undead. Soon after this, the two agree to leave with Roger's friend Stephen, a TV reporter, and together they take refuge in the local mall, where, of course, Roger gets bitten after helping to clear out the zombies. Once the mall's secure, though, they all live it up using all the stores and all the accessories made available to them. I mean, shit, wouldn't you? To be fair, if it were me, I would definitely do that. Come on, guys, free shit. Eventually, though, Roger does turn and is killed by Peter. Steven's girlfriend, who's been there the whole time, is actually pregnant and keeps asking to leave the mall. Um, no bitch, shut up. For whatever reason, though, Steven is giving her flying lessons in his helicopter. Why? Like, why are you doing that? Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, he's one of those, like, flying traffic reporters. Yeah. Anyway, so a biker gang sees the helicopter flying around, and then they head over to conquer the mall, letting a shit ton of zombies back inside in the process. Yay! Steven engages in a shootout with the bikers, resulting in him being killed and then reanimated, and then the bikers getting eaten. Same old story. Peter and Fran, the pregnant girlfriend, fight their way to the rooftop where they escape with the helicopter, leaving the mall behind to be foobar by zombies. The end. Yeah, this is a good one. It's another zombie classic, but personally, I think the remake is better. But anyway, there's more zombie stuff to come, so I'll see you then.